A massive earthquake jolted Assam and Northeast this morning, forcing hundreds of people to rush out of their houses. The earthquake of magnitude 6.4 on the Richter scale, which had its epicenter in Dhikya Juli near Sonitpur, shook the region at around 7.52 a.m. this morning. The earthquake lasted for nearly a minute, causing damages to several structures across the state, including here in Guwahati. A senior, a second minor jolt was also felt at around 8 2 a.m., again driving people out of their homes. On your screens are the visuals from Adhikya Juli, which is of course the epicenter of this massive earthquake. These visuals were shared on Twitter by the Assam Health and Finance Minister Himanto Bishwa Sharma. And these are more visuals of the damage and the panic that was caused by the earthquake. Yes, as you see on your screens, viewers, extensive damage being reported and structures, residential areas, apartment buildings, all were left severely damaged in the wake of this devastating earthquake. And damages to structures were also witnessed from Nogaon viewers. What you see on your screens is the visual of a building in Nogaon, where as you can see, due to the impact of the earthquake, the building is now leaning on its right side. The building, as you can clearly see, tilted towards its right side, all because of the major impact, the huge impact of the earthquake, an earthquake measuring 6.4 magnitude on the Richter scale. Matthias Ambale Panay, the engineer, who has been doing this for many years, has put many efforts into this building. Best to build this building. Why? Because Luha has built this building. This building and that building are very good. Some poor people are very poor. This is very good. 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 And these are visuals of the Hotel Taj Vivanta in Guwahati City, viewers. Here too, as is clearly evident, massive widespread damage is being reported. As you can clearly see, several shattered pieces of tiles lying on the floor and also ceilings have been damaged. There are cracks being witnessed on the walls and glasses also lying shattered on the floor. Yes, indeed, viewers, at this point in time, we can only hope and pray that people everywhere who are watching this are safe and sound and their family members are safe as well. And these are visuals coming in from an apartment building in Ulubari area of Guwahati, where too, as you can see, absolutely sensational visuals coming in, viewers. A bedroom being overflown with water, which is leaking from the damaged ceiling. And of course, the room now being flooded with the water that is seeping inside the room. Of course, absolutely painting a clear picture of the extent of the damage that has been left in the wake of this earthquake. And here we see visuals from our own offices here in Guwahati viewers and of course very clearly evident we ourselves were also not spared by the by the earthquake that hit Assam just a short while back earlier in the morning today extensive damage has also been sustained here in our studios in Guwahati as you can see there are several cracks on the on the walls and pieces of glass also lying shattered on the floor
And uh, these are, of course, visuals are from Ground Zero, the epicenter of the earthquake in near Dhekia Juli in Sonitpur of Assam. As you can see, water seeping out from a paddy field at Narayanpur near Dhekia Juli. And of course, this is the same very video that was also reshared by our health and fam our health and finance minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma on uh, Twitter. This is, of course, the area. This is, of course, the paddy field which is being confirmed to be the epicenter of this earthquake. As you can see water continuously seeping out onto the paddy field here at the epicenter. And these are visuals coming in from Tamulpur here, viewers. As you can see here too, floods are being reported. There is a water seeping out. And of course, viewers, we are bringing you all of the latest updates of all the damage that is being reported at this point in time due to the earthquake that struck parts of Assam and nearby states in the early hours of the morning today. And here too we see similar visuals of uh, apartment buildings, residential areas also sustaining severe damage due to the earthquake. As you can see cracks starting to show on the walls and of course uh, people have we have been told have been forced to move out of the buildings due to the damage that has been sustained due to the earthquake. This is, of course, an apartment building in Beltola area of Gohati, where, of course, the people residing in the residential building were forced to move out of their houses. And, of course, SDRF personnel were also deployed to make a complete assessment of the extent of the damage. And a part of the Bhairabkund uh, hill in Udalguri district near Bhutan border in Assam broke away after the earthquake hit the state today. Yes, indeed, viewers, absolutely sensational visuals what you see on your screens. Part of the Bhairabkunda hill in Udalguri district near the Bhutan border in Assam broke away after the earthquake hit the state earlier in the morning today. Indeed, viewers, we are only now starting to fully grasp the extent of the damage that has been left in the wake of this massive earthquake. We can see massive clouds forming here and of course these are very frightening visuals of the amount of damage that has been caused, caused an act of a god as it is widely called this massive earthquake an act of god which is causing widespread damage and only now is it fully starting to unravel itself. Here we see visuals of the Bhairabkunda hill in Udalguri district near the international border with Bhutan in Assam which broke away after the earthquake hit the state this morning. Well, the effects of the earthquake was also felt at the Northeast Life Studios here in Guwahati. In fact, a morning bulletin today was disrupted for a few minutes. Clearly, one can make out from the visuals that you see on your screens, viewers, the severity of the damage that was witnessed here, right here in our studios. Yes, indeed, these are visuals straight from our studios here in Guwahati, viewers, where too, as you can see, the extent of the damage, the earthquake sparing none in its path of destruction.
And more visuals coming in from here, our studios in Guwahati viewers. These are visuals coming in. As you can see, all the computers, machines toppling over, the chairs are shaking. And the people here in our studios frantically, frantically trying to hide somewhat, trying to save their lives, trying to do the best they can under the prevailing circumstances. This is indeed what we were faced with earlier in the morning today, right here in our Northeast Life Studios viewers. Indeed, trying times for the entire nation and on top of that, there's a massive earthquake that hit parts of Assam here today and these are visuals painting a stark picture of what went down earlier in the morning today. And once again, visuals from our studio here in Northeast Live, where as you can see, personnel running out of the rooms trying to save themselves as the earthquake struck Gohati at around 7.52 a.m. earlier in the morning today. And as you can see, very, very terrifying visuals. As you can clearly see, all the equipments, the monitors, the cameras, all are shaking very visibly. And the people trying to save themselves, trying to run out of the rooms in a bid to escape from from this act of God. And these are visuals in the aftermath of the earthquake viewers. As you can see, the extent of damage that was left inside our studios, inside our offices in the wake of the earthquake. As you can see, more or less, there are certain items that have been displaced. Things have toppled over. However, we are fortunate enough to inform you that no one as of now has been hurt in our studios. However, there has been some damage sustained to the equipment, to the walls in our studio and as such we are not alone in this. The earthquake has spared none in its path and extensive damage is being reported from all parts of Sam, not just here in our studios from Northeast Life. And more developments are coming in, viewers. The massive earthquake has left one person dead in Assam. That's right, viewers. As per the reports coming in, a 70-year-old man identified as a Prasanna Kalita died of a massive cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest during the earthquake. Kalita su suffered the heart attack when the rest of his family members were out of the house. Very tragic news indeed, viewers. And of course, the first casualty is being reported due to the earthquake as one 70-year-old person identified as Prasanna Kalita died due to a heart attack during the earthquake. Well, Kalita is, has reportedly suffered the, her heart attack when the rest of his family were out of the house. And of course, Mr. Kalita passed away during the earthquake due to a massive Cardiac <laughs> Bahiro para manu ke liye jitne fitrolo ke aahe le, teu ta karo basi thokata sir. 